Hello, I'm Daniil, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, information, education, guidance, and advice. And I want to talk briefly on the subject of um, truva and how it happens in certain specific cases. I'm thinking of the passage in the book of Exodus in uh, chapter 14, verse 28, when the waters come back rushing on the um, Egyptian charioteers. And it says, the waters came back, covered the chariots and the horsemen. There remained not a one of them. Entire uh, Egyptian forces, horses, riders, chariots, gone. But not Pharaoh, who was with them. Now it is said at the very last second, when a wave was about to engulf Pharaoh himself, our sages say that he did tshuva, he repented. And just as he was about to be smothered with the water, our sages say that Pharaoh shouted out, Mi chamocham be'elim Hashem, who is like you, Lord, God, uh, And um, his truva was sincere. It was genuine. And because of that truva, at the very last second, the Creator accepted it. And our sages say, not only did Pharaoh live, but this same person went on to become the king of Nineveh, according to our sages. So we have to ask ourselves, this is the way you do truva? When the waters are crashing, when the waters are up to your nose, uh, when you've gotten over the choice, you, you do tshuva and it's accepted? Well, apparently it is, uh, certainly in, in, in Pharaoh's case. And I think we have to realize that to concede guilt, to admit that you were wrong, it takes extraordinary courage and strength especially when you're like a, like a pillar of, of evil, like a Pharaoh who viewed himself and his people viewed him as a god, and he viewed himself as a god. The very last minute, the very last second, just when he's about to, to drown, Micha Mocha, Be'elim Hashem. Who is like you? among the heavenly powers, O oh God. If tshuva is sincere, if it's genuine, if it's not just a bunch of words you're saying out of desperation, but if it's truly from the heart and done with all your strength, the Creator will accept it. Even someone like Pharaoh, even the sons of Korach. Um, Korach, a wicked man. But his sons, the sons of Korach, were given uh, the schus, the merit, to sing songs in the temple, in the Bezimikdash. Many times you'll see Psalms, it says, for the sons of Korach. Good can come out of evil, uh, even in a situation where someone who is a complete and total Russia, if he does truva and it's genuine, sincere repentance, um, to change your entire life, um, to ch change your complete mindset, your complete way of looking at life. It's a, it's a Herculean task. And someone who does this, someone who successfully not only repents, but turns himself around, makes up for the evil he has done, becomes a real Baal Truva. The people who are, are Baal Truva, our sages say, they have triumphed and our sages, Chazal, say they are, they are on a higher spiritual plane. 
then uh, the tzaddikim gemurim, the complete, total tzaddikim, the totally righteous people, someone who's a baltruva, stands in a place where a tzaddik can't stand, cannot be. He's valued, he's treasured, he's accomplished more. I heard one rabbi say that for him to keep kosher wasn't a big deal. He's done it since, as long as he can remember, he's done it since birth. But for someone to become a Bolshova, to stop eating non-kosher things, to give up things that he loves, lobster or whatever, it's a huge deal. A from person wouldn't eat a, a lobster on a bet. It's a big marine cockroach. But for someone who loves it, to give it up because he's accepting upon himself the will of God, that's accepted. And you're on a higher plane. Pharaoh, when the waters were up to his nose, genuinely repented. It's never too late, even when the knife is at your throat. Don't give up. Gather your strength. Turn toward God. Turn toward the will of the Creator. And if you are sincere, it will be accepted. Um, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Amuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.